continue to give a quick five or update on the state of legislation in Pennsylvania. Uh, on Senator Dale Leach, I did a medical bill. Okay. Is this better? Oh, no. All right. So, first of all, I want to thank all of you for being here. This is wonderful to see. Uh, great turnout like this. We're way ahead of where we thought we would be in terms of patients, registered doctors, caregivers. Um, there are always a few kinks, and we're still working out a few of those. But generally speaking, we think that our program is the envy of the nation. And I go to conferences around the country, and people tell us that. So we're very proud of that. Um, we are also, in the next couple of weeks, uh, Senator Sharif Street and I will be rolling out a recreational adult use bill. The thing is, there's a lot of tricky parts about marrying an already existing medical program with a new recreational program. And uh, there's a lot of tension between you know, existing license holders and aspiring license holders in the new space and, and what advantages or what head starts or what guarantees should be given. But I want to just tell you one thing about this. <coughs> the one thread that runs through everything we've been deliberating over the last several months, and we've met for hundreds of hours, um, and we're very close to thinking we have the bill we want, is the concept of social justice. Many of you know, but for those who don't, Prohibition is a policy that was born of and sustained by racism for decades. And it has disproportionately adversely affected neighborhoods of pe where people of color live, uh, neighborhoods where uh, people who are poor live, and we've got to change that. And so one of the things that we're doing, look, standing ovation from Val here. One of, the, one of the things we're doing is, I'll give you a couple of social justice things we're doing. First of all, the bill acts as a self-executing expungement of all possession charges, possession of paraphernalia, and delivery, and delivery charges under an ounce, because we think we could get that passed. That will be a huge thing, all supervision ends. Now, if you were robbing a bank and you would pot on you, you still have to do the bank robbing part, okay? But everything else, and you can still work, you can work in the industry, and that'll go a long way towards ameliorating some of the problems. But the other big issue that we've been wrestling with is, for a lot of reasons, the barriers to entry on the medical side were high. You had to have a lot of resources to get a license, to be a grow, grower or whatever in the medical space. We don't want that to be the same in the recreational space exclusively. So we have come up with something that we think is very uh, creative and will be controversial, <coughs> but it's the concept of micro licenses where you can get licenses with very low barriers to entry. You can only sell a little bit. There's three tiers, uh, but you won't have very many expenses. You can sell it to the grid because we still have to have it tested and stuff, but that'll be up to growers and dispensers you sell it to, not to the general public. You do well, you get a tier two. You do even better, uh, we think 40 plants, 12 plants, 40 plants, 150 plants for the tier three. And you can make a decent living and get into the industry uh, and we think of the three tiers as a ladder, where even the people who are, have almost nothing, if you have some talent and some desire and some hard work, you can become part of this industry and you can get rich instead of being rich ahead of time. So that's one of the things we're trying to do. We're gonna have home grow of up to six plants. We're gonna have lounges that you can go. Um, and we're gonna have uh, uh, you know, a variety of other things uh, that I think will make this a, a, a great program for the market, a great program for consumers, and allow the medical program to continue to be strong, because that has to be strong as well. So uh, keep an eye on that. We have a number. Today we got a number. We didn't want to do 420 for the bill, because we thought that was a little cheesy. But we found out <coughs> the molecular weight of a THC molecule is 314 something. So we're going to go for bill 314. All right, keep an eye on that. And, and thank you all for participating in this. You're doing a great service, and for the patients, I hope it's helping you. Did you have a question, sir? When, was, when will that be put forward? We're looking at approximately March 18th, 19th, uh, to, to, to do a big rollout of the bill. Um, and then, of course, I, you know, passing it, I think we have a really good shot at it this session. 
New Jersey passing theirs and New York passing theirs will put a lot of economic pressure on us. So I think that it's going to be hard to sustain prohibition in the face of what everyone around us is doing. Yes, sir. I'm a New Jersey patient. I was wondering if you guys are doing anything for uh, reciprocal. <clears throat> We're working on that. The, this is the problem we have is federal law sure. complicates oh, that. Sure. And we really need some help with federal law, not only for things like that, but also because you're not allowed to bring it across state lines under federal law. So reciprocal is difficult unless you're going to go to New Jersey and use it there and come back empty-handed. But that you don't even need. Once it's right, well, you can right, do that. Right, right. So, uh, but we're, we're, you know, banking, insurance, all kinds of things will be better if we have a federal protocol that is rational. Sure. Uh, so we are pushing for that while we are working on, we're doing the best we can do at the state level while pushing for improvements at the federal level. Anyway, I see Skip behind me, which is very intimidating. So I'm going to give him the mic back. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Senator. We really appreciate it.